morning guys welcome back to vlogmas oh my gosh we're like we're getting close guys like we got like 10 more videos i think i don't even know no we have more than 10 i don't even know vlogmas is flying by and i leave for my cruise this weekend but anyways i've been doing a ton of adulting paying a ton of bills and drinking some iced coffee so doing that i'm about to actually get up and get moving and get ready for the day and i need to go get in a workout my eyelashes are all wonky oh my God. okay anyways we need to go work out like soon because i didn't work out yesterday shoot <laughs> so yeah. yeah 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 literally cleaned this whole area this weekend to film a vanity tour today but then adulting happens, it happens, it just happens, okay? What's up guys? All right, we're still fasted. Um, it's 1040 right now. Should have worked out like an hour ago. I'm still fasted, had my coffee and my MC2 oil. Oil, can't talk. I still like to work out fasted. Um, I don't really practice intermittent fasting, but I'm basically doing intermittent fasting every day if you haven't noticed because I wake up. The only thing I have is my coffee, um, the only time I would break my fast is if I have um, my protein coffee latte thing, which is sometimes. So that's why I like don't say, like, I don't promote that I do intermittent fasting, but I basically do intermittent fasting to a sense. I've always thought about, like, actually sticking to it and trying it out, but uh, I'm just doing me. So, yeah, it's 10.41, still haven't worked out. We're gonna take half a scoop of pre since I did have a small cup of coffee today, like about four ounces. And then we'll go work out. I'll sip on some BCAAs and then we'll have our first meal. And that'll probably be closer to like noon. And I don't remember when I last had my last meal, but it was kind of late last night, like 9.30. So I don't know, what else? Have a scoop to the dome today. We're, we're trying it. This is the ghost sour black cherry. This is the one that got me hooked on ghost. Like this is the reason I'm a, I'm a ghost fan. What's up guys? It's now 10.55. We're actually in the car now, getting ready to head to the gym. It's so cold. So cold, um, but we're gonna go up to La Fitness and get in a lift as my music starts. All right guys, I just pulled into the gym. It is so freaking packed, like it's so packed. I'm gonna record as much as I can. Um, I've just had a couple instances here where people are like, don't give me in your video, like so. I'm gonna record what I can. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get the whole workout in for you. Gosh, my lash extensions are so wonky today ah. anyways we're here la fitness It's currently 12.27. Um, I'm finishing up the last little bit of my ghost aminos right now, and I'm about to make some food. If you've been watching Vlogmas, you know I'm obsessed with my sweet potato little like hash thing. So I am going to make that, but I'm actually going to give you an in-depth recipe of it, rather than just showing you a little montage and all that stuff, I'm actually gonna talk you through it. So, things you're gonna need, I'm forgetting one thing. All you need is a skillet, 
That's what those are called, right? Um, some spinach, sweet potato, onion, and some eggs. So, that's all you need. So what I'm gonna start with is getting my olive oil. I'm not even open in the frame. <laughs> I use the Sprouts Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And, well, Emily, obviously you have to cut things up first. I'm so silly. So actually, your first step, before you even touch your olive oil, um, I do this thingy to my sweet potato. What is this called? Skinning? No? Shit, I don't know what this is called. What do you call this? I do this to my sweet potato. And I won't eat this whole sweet potato. This will be two. So, like, I'll probably have this breakfast again tomorrow. Um, or you can cook it up for dinner the other half. But I will cut this sweet potato in half and use only half of it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Put the other half to the side for tomorrow. And then... That's why this, okay, so this onion looks a little funky because I use like a fourth of an onion. You don't want to use the whole onion, unless you really like onion, like that's cool too. Or if you don't like onion, then don't use onion. I know a lot of people don't like onion. I think onion provides a lot of flavor, and so that's why I like to do onion. Um, preference, people think otherwise, aka my best friend Marcus, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to peel that little layer off. So I'm just going to dice the onion like really small as you've seen probably in a bajillion montages of this meal. So then I'm going to crank up the heat. Not really crank it up. I'm going to put the skillet like on medium. Mine's numbered low, or one through nine. So I put it like on a five. Then we take the extra virgin olive oil. We drizzle just a tad in the pan. Just a little drizzle. Wiggle it around. I feel like I should tilt y'all down a little bit so y'all can see me better. Okay, then we're going to add the onion. Boop, boop. Let that saute. Is that the right term? Saute for a bit. Okay, why my onions saute? I'll take my half sweet potato. I'm basically gonna cut down yay much into little circles. Do you feel? If you diced a potato or made like homemade hash browns, kind of like that, you know? Ooh! Almost just got my finger. I cut it like this way and then this way into little squares. I mean, obviously they won't all be the same size, but yeah. Okay. So then, once I have my sweet potatoes all chopped up, I'm gonna Check on the onions. Oop, I got a little bit of skin on there. I Me, mean, it's okay. All right. And onions cook pretty fast, so I, they don't really need to look any certain way before you put the sweet potato in. So I'm just gonna chunk the sweet potato in the pan. All of it. Then I'll drizzle a little more olive oil, just a tad. You don't want all those extra fats now. Then I'm going to add Salt and pepper. Ooh. This is pure black pepper. As much of your liking. I like pepper, so I kind of go overboard. And then this is the Kirkland um, Himalayan pink salt. I love pink salt. Lots of health benefits. So if you like salt, use pink salt. It's a little bit better for you. Then I'm just going to give that all a stir. Okay. Then, we're gonna take a lid and cover the pan. I honestly don't even have a pan for, or have a lid for this pan. So literally, like, guys, this is okay. It doesn't even fit. Sometimes it goes over. I just cover it to help kinda, you know, I don't, I don't really know what it does, but I like it. And when you put the spinach in, it like steams it. So, it, yeah, do it. Now, while I'm waiting for that to get its life together, I'm going to take my spinach. I don't like the stems of the spinach. Um, I just don't like the texture. Whoa, that's a lot of spinach. So I'm going to pull a chunk out of the bag as I drop it all over the kitchen floor. It's fine. I'm fine. Like a solid handful. A nice solid handful. I'm going to pull the stems off because I just don't like them. And you do what you want. 
It's your breakfast or brunch or lunch. It's your food. Do what you want. Once you have the spinach to your liking, I chop it up a little bit just so you don't have like these like massive leaves. I don't know. If you care, don't do this, but I care, so I do it. Then we're gonna check on whoa, this stuff. While that still cooks, I start cleaning up and just putting things away that I'm done with, just so the kitchen's clean, you know? Another question I know I'm gonna get is, how do you know when this part is ready in the sauce, in the saucepan, in the skillet? Um, you just kinda like eyeball it, to be completely honest. I don't like be like, in 15 minutes, it'll be done, like, I don't know. So, I just look for when the sweet potatoes are kinda getting mushy, because if you overcook them, they'll get mushy. Um, then I just kind of look to see if, like, are they turning brown? Are they getting crispy? Are they mushy? Just kind of like however you like them, honestly. I like right in that middle consistency. The edges are a little bit brown. They're starting to kind of mush apart. I'm like, mmm, perfect. They're done. That's what I'm going to throw all my spinach in it. So, we're going to wait for a second. Okay, so, the potatoes are about the consistency I like. This is hard. I need to put the camera down. So then I will take my spinach... Throw it right on top. You know what, I kind of cut a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Then I'm just gonna cover that, let that steam. Save this for my smoothie later. And then you're just gonna let that steam. You'll kind of know when spinach is done because it goes from this size to this size. So we just kind of wait a little bit. So some of the spinach is getting done. I'm gonna mix this all together. Crank down the heat from a five to like three and a half, four. Take our brown eggs, crack them on top. Whoop. We're gonna do two full eggs today. And then we're gonna start scrambling. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Guys, and it's exactly 12.47, so this took me exactly 20 minutes to make. I'll go ahead and put the decimated macros right here on the screen, and let me know if you make it. Guys, it's just beautiful, it's delicious. You must try it. I'm getting ready to go to work, so I'm gonna make a sandwich to go with me. I'm gonna use this Nature Zone Perfectly Crafted, my favorite bread ever. Um, with some turkey breast, some Havarti cheese, and mayo. A little bit high in fat, but it's okay. It's winter time. What is up guys? I just went to Starbucks and picked up a hot green tea. Um, nothing in it, unsweet. Oh my gosh, I've been picking up my lashes all day, I'm sorry. Ugh. Anyways, I'm just like, my tiredness just like hit me like out of nowhere. Like, I don't know what it was today, just like hit me and I'm so tired, but we got work today so we can't be tired. So I stopped for a green tea because I don't want to have more um, coffee because I feel like I might crash. So green tea it is. And it helps your tummy. So, you know, think it's skinny over here. I'm just casually eating dinner with Sean Mendez tonight. No big deal. <laughs> Sean Mendez, give us give us like a little uh, chorus of one of your songs. You have not heard this. Wait. I mean, Sean. Sean. 
<laughs> Sean, look, you answered. I've seen those oop tubes. What is up, guys? I have no idea what this overhead lighting looks like. Probably awful. We're, we're gonna go next to the Christmas tree. Oh my god. <laughs> I ended the night with a Pazuki from BJ's. I got the peanut butter one. It was so good. Um, I packed my turkey sandwich for work and ate that, and then that literally filled me up for like majority of the day. So when I got off of work, I really just like drank a crap ton of water, went to BJ's with a lot of coworkers, had a pizuki, that filled me up, that was enough calories, and now I'm home. Um, so I had the pizuki at about 10.30ish, um, and it's like 12.45 a.m. right now so we're finally going to sleep i'm gonna wake up super early and edit this vlog so i'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow well i'm all for christmas